Let's keep going back to the whole story here. What information do we give the little stem cell? And the stem cell gets information from the dying cell. Isn't this amazing? So let's imagine I have an injury. And what happens is I go back and the injury is eaten up. All the bad guys are taken out. And as those dying cells leave, there's a chemical messaging system that goes to the stem cell that's replacing that tissue and basically encodes your entire history in it. Not only your history, this is really interesting to me. This is quantum biology, which I'm acutely interested in practice every day here. Uh, it actually gives natural history, going back to the origins of all life. Now let's get to bacteria. Wow. When I look at the most sexy woman I've ever seen in my life, and I go, Wumarong, what does that happen? Look at that woman. She's two-thirds bacteria. When you girls look at a really handsome guy and get all excited about it, he's two-thirds bacteria. Now let's tell you how important bacteria is. Those of you who purport that you're religious or tend to be religious or spiritual, whatever you want to call it, you basically know the old adage, we come from the soil and go from the soil. I've never heard anything more true biblically. You do come from the soil and you go to the soil. And because we're not close to the soil, we're sicker, we're weaker, we're more confused, our immune system doesn't function, we're dying unnecessarily rapid and young deaths. And we're getting diseases that never existed before. The saddest place and most dangerous place to be on the planet Earth is in the most sterile place called a hospital. A hospital, most sterile place. It's where you get the biggest sicknesses today. So 80% of your immune system is born in the intestinal bacteria. Whoa. So how important is it to have good probiotics? You know, let's go back to grade one now. Probiotics are everything. That sounds like a Frank Sinatra song. Everything, my probiotic. So the reality is 80% of that immune system, which is what innate and adaptive immune system are actually from bacteria in your intestine. More important for those of you struggling with depression and confusion, and even worse than that, 90% of the serotonin, happy juice as I call it, is born out of your intestinal tract. Wow. So how many doctors other than a handful of doctors like Dr. Cousins, my colleague who was on just before me, even talk about that? You know, there's a few articles in uppity type of science journals at this point, but nobody goes anywhere because the money happens to be in suppression of psychiatric disorders, not in correction. Correction doesn't make money. That means it goes away. No more money, no more drugs. Suppression means for the rest of your life. You can take the drug and that's what people do. And is it corrective? Zero. There's not one drug in the market anywhere on the planet earth made by the pharmaceutical industry that corrects psychiatric concerns. When bacteria lack in size, they make up in number. Man, oh man, they're little tiny little invisible things. A teaspoon, a little tiny spoon, a teaspoon of productive soil. What does productive soil mean? You can hear me use this word a lot. That means organically rich soil with a poop of Worms. Yeah. Worm poop. That's what productive soil is. The more worm poop you have in your soil, the healthier the soil is. We don't have enough worm poop because we kill the worms with pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides. If I were a worm, I wouldn't want to live in that soil either. That's like a bad place to live. This productive soil generally contains between 100 million on the low end and a billion bacteria in one teaspoon of soil. So how many of you as a kid remember my mom had to drag me out of the garden all of the time. I was eating soil at two and three years old, like it was going out of style. Why? Because I still was instinctual. I had an innate instinct to want bacteria. But my mom would bring me in the house and give me Kool-Aid. Wipe out that right away. And all the food we ate in my house, prerequisite, happened to have, you had to have pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, red dye, and everything else. There was not one food in my house that had anything to do with food. My parents were good parents and they were loving. They had no concept about bacteria, immunity, or nutrition. So now, what I'm going to tell you is that bacteria in the body, the human body contains trillions of microorganisms outnumbering human cells by 10 to 1. So I said, what? I said, two-thirds of your body is bacteria, 10 times more bacteria in the body than cells. 
Because of their small size, however, microorganisms make up only about one to 3% of the body's mass. In a 200 pound adult, that means two to six pounds of bacteria, but play a vital role in human health. Now here's another interesting fact. How many of you are really in love? Raise your hand. Oh, I see you out there. Not too many, unfortunately. But all of you that really are in love, your partner, within six months, 98% of your bacteria is identical. So you start sharing bacteria. You start becoming one. Isn't that interesting? And there's a reason for this. I don't, want to have, I don't have the time today to get into it. It's about creating a oneness so that when you have offspring, they share your bacteria, which is the origin of who you are. We come from the earth. We come from the soil. We go to the soil. So that's interesting. One teaspoon has all of that. And the 200 pound guy or woman, so up to six pounds of bacteria. Thank you.